This week at Woodyard Bend HQ, we have transformed an old headboard. We started by heating the Woodyard Bend trim 705 until it becomes pliable. Once flexible, the trim is applied using a good quality wood glue. We like to use tight bond quick and thick because it does exactly what it says on the bottle. We continue to heat the Woodyard Bend trim as it begins to cool so we can create a smooth curved design. Once the trim is on the surface, we reheat the moulding and press it down. The extra push allows all the excess glue to disperse from the sides. The glue can be cleaned up using a wet wipe, cotton bud or wet paintbrush. As TR705 is a thin trim, you can tear it with your own hands or use a craft knife if you feel proficient. It's now time to start painting. We use Dixie Bell paint, Spanish moss to cover the trim and the edge of the headboard. Solly then blends with lemonade to create a French chateau vibe. As the Dixie Bell paints are water based, we use a spritz of water here and there to help blend the colours. Buttercream is brushed into the centre of the headboard as we will be covering it with a transfer. We carefully arrange each Woodyard moulding and lay them on the surface. The Woodyard moulding 6046 is heated up with a heat gun. Once the moulding becomes flexible, it is time to add our wood glue. We continue to carry out the Woodyard Bend steps by pressing the moulding onto the surface, cleaning away the excess glue, reheating and pressing down again. 6068 has been warming up on the sausage griddle so is ready to be applied to the headboard. Most of the third generation Woodyard Bend mouldings are available to purchase as a pair. This makes symmetrical designs such as this one super easy to create. And last but not least, Woodyard Bend moulding 6069 is the last applique to complete the arch design. The Woodyard Bend team prepare the bells and whistles Magnolia Garden transfer by cutting it into an oval shape. A handy wooden tool is provided to help push the transfer onto the surface. We seal the transfer with post stroke pigment infuser so that we are able to wipe away any unwanted paint in the future. Following the same steps as before, we chose Woodyard Mouldings X1001 and TR705 to frame the transfer and make it more of a centrepiece. To tie everything together, we paint all the Woodyard Bend mouldings the same colour and use the same paints as before to touch up the blending. We use the buttercream colour to dry brush the mouldings. As this is a light colour, it really brings out the details on the Woodyard Bend designs. The Magnolia Garden transfer contains four sheets which include different designs with a similar theme. We add some extra details around the centrepiece for the finishing touches. We hope you enjoyed watching our headboard transform into a vintage French chateau design. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe if you would like to see similar content. Thanks for watching.